guys welcome back to my channel my name is Christy and this is Christy's closet if this is your first time clicking on my channel I am a part-time reseller um, I resell on many different platforms Poshmark, Depop, Curtsy um, and I've been reselling for the past six seven years I like to say um, I have a small but mighty closet um, and I'm here on YouTube to show you how you don't need a huge closet to make great sales um, today's video is a haul but before we begin the haul I don't even care how crazy I look I just I had to get this out I think I got scammed on eBay I got scammed on eBay and I am so pissed like I'm so pissed I'm so pissed I am so pissed um like I said in the beginning of my video I have sold for the past six seven years on many a platforms my first platform that I started reselling on was eBay I have personal account um and it was good till it wasn't good anymore um and then I so I have my own like LLC for this reselling business. So Chrissy Closet started, I want to say, was it 2020? No, it's got to be 2019. I think 2019. Um, but I kept my personal eBay account, sold on my eBay account. Um, and then I decided, I don't even know if I made a video when I like closed my personal account because I was just like, I'm not making sales on there. I just don't have it anymore for eBay. Um, and it's just too much. It's, it's too much work for not a big return to me that's my personal opinion I know people who are on eBay and they're killing it it was like it was always just okay for me so I decided to close my account I closed my account and then earlier this year I was like oh I'll try with a business account I think they reached out like you'll get different like blurbs or something from um, eBay and I think I saw something about a business account I was like all right let me just try it through my business account. It's easier for me to track money, sales, and everything if I just do it that way. So I opened up a business account. So, you know, I sell, but nothing crazy. And I think that's why I'm like so upset about this. First of all, the item that's in question for this dispute, right? I love this item, it's gorgeous. Um, and I sold it on eBay. Um, it's a great piece, whatever. I think I'm gonna put a picture up of what I sold. So it's a Lauren Ralph Lauren silk reversible vest. I sold it on eBay and the person, I got a return. So I offer returns. I don't mind. I don't mind returns. Like I don't care because I'd rather you be happy. You're not feeling it. You're not touching it. Listen, and a lot of things that I sell, I'm okay and I'm not worried about selling it again. So I offer returns. I don't offer free returns. No, no, no. But I offer returns. So got a return on it. I don't even, honestly, I just be like, okay. Return said it doesn't fit. Perfect. It's coming back to me. The item comes back to me and it's not the item that I sold. They did a little switcheroo swap. I don't know what they did, but it's not the item I received. Now this has happened to me before. And take pictures and I send it to eBay, open a dispute. I think what I'm more pissed off at was the response I received from eBay. So now I'm going to take a pause. <laughs> you guys can fast forward if you want, but I'm going to do my haul and then I'm going to tell you the response I got from eBay when I opened up a dispute about a fraudulent return. So um i've been gone for the past two weeks here like in youtube land i think i've been gone but um it's just a lot my husband was traveling and so yeah he's the one that edits the video so when he can that's when i can do my videos but i have been picking up items to sell and i'm going to show you what i picked up so do my haul for this is a collective haul from the past couple of days um I had a couple of days off last week, so I was able to go into the thrift store, and I'm gonna show you what I picked up. So, first up, okay, so this um, I think would do good on Depop. I always see like the little girlies wearing these type of tops, um, the young ladies. It's a vintage satin sportswear um, t shirt. 
I don't know how well this is going to do, but I see them in my area. They're always wearing stuff like this. So list this on Depop. Next up, summer is coming and I am looking at the season ahead. So I'm looking at all shorts. This um, I picked up. This is Derek Lamb. Um, this is a smaller size though. This is a size two. This is 10 Crosby Derek Lamb. So I'm not sure that might be its um, diffusion line, but I thought this was so cute. Perfect for the summer. Um, I'm trying to see if this is, hold on. 100% silk. I was wondering if this was silk. So this is a designer brand. If you don't know Derek Lynn, ah, let's say mid-tier. Mid-tier. It's probably it's sold at like Saks, Bloomingdale's, um, those type of stores. So I was happy to pick that up. Next up is, all right, and I know I said I was going to pick this brand up anymore, but this seems to be one of their newer items. Um, if not, I can wear it. It's purple. I don't know, is it coming up purple? It looks like it's coming up more blue um, on the thing. Go. This is Athleta. And I paid $7.99 for it. I think the color of the day was like orange or something. Um, Athleta, size medium, in excellent condition. Um, I like the details with the like darts right here. That's why I picked it up. It seems to be more of a substantial piece. And this is like a velour feel to it. What is the? Oh, it's the Sea Soft Tank Sweatshirt. I need to look that up. But I will have this listed in my closet. Not everything is listed in my closet yet. Um, but yeah, oh, I was excited when I saw this. All right, number one, it's hard to pick up white in the thrift store. So I am like looking it over 400 times, but white is great to pick up now. Um, a lot of people wear white for like their graduations and the year festivities. Um, and I thought this was a beautiful romper. It's a romper, you guys. Beautiful romper to pick up. Uh, this is Abercrombie and Fitch. It's a size medium. And if I'm not mistaken, I think, is this the, no, I don't want to say this is the older tag. I feel like it's an older tag, but not like, not like one of the original older tabs, but this was in excellent condition. See the little detailing on it? So that should do well in my closet. Um, I did pick up some swimwear. This is new with tags. It's a size extra large. Really cute. It's airy. So also part of... No, that's American Eagle Outfitters. I was thinking Abercrombie and Fitch, but it's not. Right? Check out the background. Look at that. Look at the back of that. That is so adorable. So size extra large, um, full coverage. It is a size, I said size extra large? Yeah, size extra large in the Aerie swimsuit. So can't wait to get that listed. Next up, this J. Crew dress. This just reminds me of Easter. If you have a graduation coming up, this is perfect. This is new with tags, a size 14. Bring it up closer so you can see. Look how pretty that is. I just think that's perfect for upcoming holidays. Um, it's not J. Crew Factory, it is J. Crew. It is lined, full zip. Um, new with tags. Yep. So, need to get this listed now. Do you guys feel like when you list something, I think it doesn't get traction to me? No lie, maybe 30 days later. I've said that before. I don't remember in what video, but that's why I'm always like, let me list now because, yeah. You know, now, if you know this pattern, you resellers, you know who this is. I don't even have to show you the name. This is Lily Pulitzer. It's a size small, great little t-shirt dress. This should do well in my closet. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. We all know Lily Pulitzer. And I don't have one, but I have two Lily Pulitzer dresses that I picked up. This one is a size medium. This is so cute. Look at the little boats. These always do well in the summertime. 
It's nice, lightweight. This one has a little bit more weight to it. Um, dress, just something easy to pop over and head out. You got those beach vacations, that's perfect for that. Um, I picked up another swimsuit. Um, check this out, really cute. So I would say this is new without tags. Um, it still has a liner in there around the gusset. Still has a liner. Um, but like you can tell, like the tags were taken off. This is an extra large and this is also eerie. So that's the back. That's the front. The padding is still in. And the liner, the panty liner area is still, still has its um, liner there. So... To me, that's new without tags. Next up, this pretty skirt. Let me show you the back of it. I want to say, is this a skirt? No, this is a... Yeah, it's a skirt. Yep. <laughs> this is perfect for, like, outdoor, golf, all, all of those things. I was happy to find this. This is Patagonia. And it's a great size. It's a size eight. There it goes. It's Patagonia right there. So happy to pick that up. Um, next, I was going back and forth about this. Now, I, you guys know, I call myself the Zara Whisperer. But the reason I like this, this is kids. So I don't know how well this is going to do. It needs a steam. Um, it's a size 13, 14. This beautiful olive green dress with the blue balloon sleeves. I couldn't leave this behind. I was like, I will let this sit in my closet for two years until my daughter could fit it and she can wear it. It's just such a classic dress that it's not it's not trendy. It's perfect um, for like that tween that's, you know, that in between that wants something a little bit more grown up for Easter. I will let my daughter wear this for Easter. This is just so cute with the little pockets. Oh. What? This was in my size. Anyway, so I picked that up. That's a Zara, size 13, 14. Um, I don't really sell kids' clothes besides my daughter's, but I picked that up. I thought that was cute. Now, I haven't sold this in I don't know how long, guys. Oh, my God. This is Barefoot Dreams. I can't tell you the last time I sold Barefoot Dreams. Um, I love going down the intimate apparel section. I go there, but and so the internet intimate apparel section at this particular thrift store is right next to the scrubs. And I actually found this in the scrub section. Um, but it's a barefoot dreams card again. But yeah, size one X, so it's a great size. It's the cozy light, no cozy cheek ultra light cardigan. Pockets, let's see how it does. Barefoot Dream seems to have gone down a bit, so womp womp. I, I don't know how much I'm going to sell that for. Next up, okay, I stopped picking up this brand unless it's an amazing statement dress like I think this is. Now, oh, the light is washing it out. Oh, wait, let me see what happens. Let me take off the light. Let me see. There we go. That's better. Do you see this pattern? Do you see this pattern on this dress? So this is like brocade um, mini dress from Lulu's. I think it's great for Easter. Um, if, it's, if you're part of sorority and your colors are pink and green, this is perfect for it. Sweetheart neckline, new with tags, size medium, and I forgot the name of this dress, but it is listed in my closet. This one I, I just got listed. So it's got a zip in the back and the best, the best thing you can ever have. Hold on, my daughter's calling me. Hold on, I'm filming. Um, pockets. And it's lined and it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, let me turn on the light again. Okay, next up was, oh, and this is my last piece for clothing and then we're gonna get into shoes. So I saw this hanging in the thrift store like this and I was like, oh, okay, let me go over and check. Um, touched it, I was like, this is so cute. And it's Pendleton. 
how cute is this bag? This bag is so cute, right? Like, look at that. Now, I don't sell Pendleton like I used to. Um, I remember when it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how Pendleton is doing. But I thought this was such a cute bag. So this will probably do good fall. Wait, right? Look at this, guys. I'm really into like, I like selling bags. That I do like selling. They take a while to sell, but I think they're great to sell. They're easy to list and you have a better chance of finding like unique bags that people will want um, to purchase. Okay, next up are shoes. So, I have this bag come out of shoes. This is my favorite time of year to sell shoes. Okay, so first up are these pair of Vionics shoes. They're in excellent condition, you guys. What size is this? Is this the nine? No, eight. This is an eight. This is the Vionic Kensley loafers. Look how cute these. So they're patent right here. And then they have like this new buck suede thing in the back. Um, great for spring. Great if you're a teacher. Great to get in the office. It's just a perfect pair. I think these sell for, I think they're listed for like 120 plus on different sides. I have them. And like I said, these are in excellent, almost got it. <laughs> excellent condition. Next up, um, so I picked these up. One, they're in my size. So I was like, if they don't sell, I'm keeping them. These are the Pilar um, heels, uh, open toe sandals. They're by Steve Madden and they are a size nine, but look how gorgeous these are. They're in excellent condition. There you go. Um, so I'm excited to pick these up. And I think these are perfect for transitioning into spring into summer perfect 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 stuff those are up next this was cool to find i've never seen these before um these are converse all-star mary jane leather sneakers they're mary jane ox i think is the name um these are a size 10. These are a size 10, so they're a great um, size, excellent condition. Um, so, of course, I picked them up. I'm telling you, I love shoes. Okay, these are a pair of kids' shoes, but I couldn't leave them behind. Look at these. They're a size 3, they're boys, and they're chacos. So, also think they're perfect for summer. You know when the kids go to camp and they technically can't have open toe shoes or any sandals? This is breathable. This is perfect if they splash in like puddles and water or whatever. It just dries quickly. So I was happy to find these. And in excellent condition. Oh, let me tell you, this is funny. Because I didn't realize till I got to the register. And she rung it up. And I think that's when it dawned on me. When she rung it up, these are not in excellent condition, but I was drawn to them because of the pattern. <laughs> these are J. Crew kitten heels, stars, you know. You guys know, I've sold this twice before. Like early, early in my reselling. No, no, maybe not early. I don't know, but I remember I have sold this twice before and I had a hard time selling it. I remember I had a hard time moving it. I don't know if it was my pictures. I don't know what, or maybe it was my pricing, but I had a hard time moving it. And I kept wondering why I was so drawn to these shoes and I did not want to take it out of my um, cart. And I, and let me tell you, I didn't even look at comps. Like I remember comping all the other shoes and for some reason I didn't comp these. And now I know why, because I've sold these before. And I didn't like selling them before either. Like I had a great stock photo and any, everything, but I remember it just didn't move. Why did I get back into bed with these shoes again? And it's like, like it's a size 10. It's not like an excellent condition, but like people, when you buy used shoes, get a foot pad, put it right here at the bottom. I mean, and you still have life in the shoe. Like get a non-slip pad thing and you stuff. But yeah, so I can't even be mad at myself if this takes forever to sell, but yep. Sure did buy it again. Maybe subconsciously I want them. Because I could probably wear them. But where would I wear them? 
like I wouldn't walk around wearing stars on my. I, I know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I think that was funny because I was like, "You bought those shoes before." <laughs> I realized that I got home and I put it in my um into my loft. That I was like into my inventory loft. And I was like, "I've sold these shoes before." Okay, next up, this is a new to me brand. Never heard of this brand before. Tony Bianco. It's sold on Revolve. I saw that. It sold on Revolve. Really nice classic loafer. Size six and a half. So it's little on the small side. So I'm curious to see how this one does. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Just a classic no loafer. Um, I love learning about new brands. So we'll see how this does. Um, I think it's listed for a hundred plus. I believe that's why I left it in my cart because um, I didn't see too many for resell. Oh, I saw it on Depop. Depop, I saw these reselling, but I didn't see a lot of it on um, eBay and Poshmark. But can't wait to try selling those. Okay, <laughs> this is fine. so I have sold Peloton shoes twice before. So I picked this up. Um, these look on the smaller size, but these are actually a size seven. Um, I like selling these. They sell. Um, I know Peloton, the, um, craze around Peloton has dipped a bit, but people still need, right, cycling shoes, I would think so, shoes for their bike. Um, these aren't in the best condition. There's like a little scuff right here. I probably could wipe it up if I try. Um, but yeah, size seven, Peloton shoes. Next up are these sandals. They're pretty cool. I saw them. I was like, oh, and I couldn't believe what it was. It's naturalizer. So these are perfect for the summer. Like these are staples that everyone should have in their closet. Some form of like fisherman sandals are like these type of open toe type sandals. They're great to walk in long walks in the summertime. So these are a size... Eight. These size eight? Yeah, these are a size eight. These are the Brooke sandals. Brooke leather sandals. So happy to pick them up and see how they do. Next, I have sold this brand before, and this is pretty high end. Um, I think they sell for like a hundred plus. Or do they sell fast? Now I'm trying to remember why I like them. I think they sell fast. It's a certain, so these are Arch. Um, these are size 39. I want to say it's a European like lagging look type brand. This has some wear on it, but nothing that would prevent it from selling. But that's the logo if you've never seen it before. I don't know how it's going to come up. But yep, these are Arch. Um, and yep, great brand to sell if it's new to you. Great brand to sell. This is my first time selling this brand, so I'm curious to see how it does. I see the commercials all the time. Is this Ufos? Ufos? So I picked these up. A little clog brand. They remind me like Dansko's and Birkenstocks mixed together. So that's right there. Don't know much about it. Don't know how it's going to sell, but we'll try anything once. So size 39 on those. And two more shoes to go to wrap up this haul. Um, I picked this up because ballet core is still in. The cheap classic ballet flats are in. This is amazing quality. Um, this is size six and a half, so it's a little bit on the smaller side. And it's Steve Madden, but I love like that square toe. Like it's just clean at the bottom. Couldn't leave this behind. What's the name of this one? Because we know he names his shoes. Byra, so Byra, Byra, right? It's too good. And last but not least, um, this also, you can find this on the real, real great designer, mid-tier designer brand sold at Bloomingdale's, Sags. This is Stubbs and Wooten, Wooten, Stubbs and Wooten. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, I've sold this brand. I want to say about three times before. I usually sell them for $100 plus. This is Fabric Mule, Kitten Mule. This is the older logo. I think the new logo is the more has a fabric. It's more like the Steve Madden logo. Yeah, I think that's the newer one. I don't think this is the more recent um, 
logo. Let me, if you can see, stubs and what. And you guys, that is my haul. I have to get most of these listed because they are not listed. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. No, I think that's it. So hold on one second because I think I have to wrap up my eBay dispute thing. Yeah, so like I'm bummed about this. And I think I'm bummed about it because let me tell you what eBay said to me. Try to go back to the... And I've had a dispute before with eBay. And I remember I had to appeal, and I think I had to appeal it too. But I think this email is what, what really ticked me off. <laughs> Just, so listen to this. So hello and my seller name, right? Thank you for contacting eBay regarding the Polo Ralph Lauren Women's 100% Silk Reversible Equestrian Vest Petite Large. My daughter just dropped something. My apologies. Um, which you sold to the buyer. And I'm going back and forth about releasing the buyer's name. I have I don't know yet. Mm. I am in the eBay representative's name. Um, and it'll be my pleasure to assist you further. I've seen you've been with us for over three months. Thank you for choosing eBay. Now, let me tell you what pissed me off. I'm like, why does it matter how long I've been with you guys? Like, I felt like that was a dig. And maybe because towards the end when I realized this wasn't going in my favor, <laughs> I would like read it again and was like, uh-uh, mm-mm. Um, please know that your business means a lot to us. I'm sure it's standard language. And if I've been, you know, my other account was seven years, but. I just feel like the time, how long I've been it with eBay is affecting this decision, right? I understand this is concerning since you have received completely different item. This is how they wrote it. You received completely different item from which you have initially sent to the buyer. Please allow me to investigate the details and share a resolution. Please understand that we do not have the item in our possession at any stage of the transaction, so we were unable to verify condition. There is an element of trust involved. The same as when you as the seller list an item, we cannot verify that it is as listed. If I sold an item to a, a buyer and they didn't get what they received, they would open a case. You would know they didn't receive it. That's not the case here. But we trust that you have listed the item truthfully. I know sometimes buyer abuse the policy and sellers like you or eBay suffers from these trends, from these situations. When we let your buyer return the item to you, we also want to make sure that you get the same item back which you have sent. Otherwise, we will consider this as a fraudulent return. And this is against our policy. Like I said, I didn't receive the item. And I'm going to show a picture of what I got back. I can see that you have reported the buyer. Once our trust and safety team receives your report or get a record of it in our system, they will conduct an investigation right away and come up with a further action for you. Rest assured that your concern will not be taken for granted. Now, let me pause here. So they refunded the buyer. And I think that happened before, which is fine, right? But I have never received an email like this. Like, I remember the last one I had, resolution didn't happen until trust and safety or whatever. I'm They probably changed your name now. Trust and, like, looked into it. And then they released it. So it was a couple of days. This was last night. Yesterday, I got the return and it was wrong. And I immediately opened the case. This response I got this morning. This is a Sunday morning, right? I got this response this morning. Or I saw it this morning, right? And I'm going to go further and say something about the timing. So no one looked at this. Trust and, safe, trust and safety, whatever your department is called, they didn't look at this. There's no way. I just sent this to you yesterday on a Saturday. And Sunday, you're sending me a resolution. Keep that in mind. Um, they will conduct an investigation right away and come up with a further action for you. Rest assured that your concern will not be taken for granted. I can see that the buyer asked you to send them a picture as they think they might have mixed up the labels on a package that was meant to go to Amazon. Okay. So I responded. Let's, I got the item. I want to say like 11 a.m. And I opened it. And let me tell you something. Like a lot of times when I get returned, right? Because you get returned. Most people send me back in the same package in I send. I send really nice package in. I have the cellophane in there. So a lot of people just reuse it right away. I remember when this person bought it, they didn't return it right away, which is the indication that 
they probably want it. But you get 30 days. That's fine. So maybe five, six days later, I realized they had a return. And I was okay because I felt like I sold this for less <laughs> than I should have. And it's a beautiful piece. So I knew it was going to sell again. So the packaging, when I picked it up, because it delivered right to my house. When I picked it up, I was like, this is small. This isn't what it should be. So I was like, did they like fold it real tight? That's all I kept thinking. And the minute I opened it, one, it was in my packaging. And two, I was like, they, fucking sw they swapped the item. Sorry, I cursed. <laughs> they swapped the item. I said, oh, here we go again. Because it's happened to me before. So I was like, okay. Went right downstairs, took my pictures, sent it to eBay. So I'm going to say 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. eBay would have got it. I, last night, right before I went to bed, like midnight, I saw a message from the buyer saying, oh, I just saw that a case was open. I must have swapped it. I must have mixed up the labels with Amazon. There's a packing slip in here. You didn't mix up the items with Amazon. So I was like, oh, that's cute. That's a new one. Um, no, could I send them pictures? But I had already opened up a claim. In my claim, wouldn't they see the pictures? So why am I engaging with someone that I already that I already think stole from me? I'm not talking to you. Like, let eBay. You reach out to eBay and you and eBay take care of that. I have pictures. This is what I received. Also, I mean, there's nothing. If they really swapped it with Amazon, so then what? That's not my problem. Like, you made the mistake. That is not my fault. Like, I am going to be out of the item and money. That is not okay. But eBay says that they've mixed up the labels on a package that was meant to go to Amazon. You can still contact your buyer regarding this. Most of the times, buyers accept their mistake and are ready to return the correct item. It is listed in my case what the issue is. If you know you messed up, then you have to take that mistake. I, I don't have to engage with the buyer. This is, there's, this is your platform where this happened. There's protections on both ends. Should be protections on both ends. Um, you Yeah. Buyers accept their mistake and are ready to return the correct item. Since you have enough evidence to prove that the item returned by the buyer is not the correct item. Good news is that you can appeal the case decision from the following steps. So then that's when I was like, oh, it's not in my favor because now I have to appeal. I have to appeal. You have mentioned that the it looks like the buyer made a mistake. What part of that has anything to do with the seller? Like I sold the item as is. I offer returns because you really push for returns on your platform. I'm trying to create a trusted environment for the seller, I mean, for, for the buyer, for the customer. What part of this protects me? And I'm like, wait a minute. It doesn't say like, hey, this is what we decided. It's just like good news. You can appeal the case. Why am I? Why do I have to go through all this? I didn't get what I <laughs> what I sold did not come back to me. What am I, what? I have to appeal the case? Fine. And they go on to what I need to do. Then they say, I do not wish that you remain out of pocket here. So I've credited the final value fees back for the transaction and also removed the defects. This case will not impact your selling performance on eBay. We trust that the guidelines provided will be of help in this case and in the success of your future transactions. I don't know who wrote that. It's like, Four or five different things that are said in the email. None of it makes sense. Someone's supposed to investigate the claim, right? But you've come to a decision, yet you know the buyer made a mistake, but yet I'm supposed to engage with the buyer. But we're not sure if you really listed the item as is. It's something about trust at the same time. And then, good news, I can appeal this horrible decision that you have made. Um, and you trust the guidelines provided will help in what case it has not helped me i'm the one that's at a loss for it and i'm supposed to what continue to sell on your platform no no and if it is an honest mistake which i don't believe it is because i've been this has happened once before with a swapped item and i remember that one it sold immediately oh no and then what was it no it's three okay one time someone had sent me a shirt um and it was the same thing I sold them a J. Crew shirt. They sent back a J. Crew shirt in a completely different pattern. Got my money right away. Second time, someone 
I remember this seller didn't have great reviews and I had to I had to do an appeal and I told eBay to look into their reviews and I was more shocked that eBay allowed this buyer to continue to be on eBay and they were a seller. So I think as a seller, they didn't have great reviews and that's how come it was in my favor. Um, but I don't remember the details of that transaction. I think it was like the same thing. They try to refund or return something that was not the case and... Um, yeah, so that one, and now this one, and now this one. But like I said, I think what pissed me off, I am not mad about the return. If it was an honest mistake, I don't, I find that very hard to believe because it was a great item. It was an excellent item. So I think that's what also ticked me off even more. I was like, I, they stole from me. You can't tell me anything different. They stole from me. If you feel different, you're more than welcome to put your thoughts below, but I have heard people say like eBay is not a place for sellers and I'm just like yeah I believe it I'm telling you I'm gonna fight tooth and nail for this one I don't even care about the the no I'm fighting tooth and nail for this one because absolutely not I was like I feel like I just got it's such a nasty feeling when someone steals from you it's terrible it's terrible so that's my eBay rant um I'll keep you guys posted and I don't care what nobody says. That's why I, I like Poshmark. I like Poshmark, Depop, Curtsy. I don't deal with this nonsense. I do not deal with this nonsense. Poshmark, like, for what y'all have to say, mm-mm. Nope. They, they protect their sellers. They protect their sellers. Buyers have tried to play me on, on Poshmark, too, and Poshmark will have your back. I don't know what eBay's doing, but I did reviews on all of them. It's... But I don't want to keep my rant. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great month uh, reselling. March has been great for me. Um, Poshmark side. Um, so this is the only little damper. And I have to do a February What's Soul video. So that will be my next video. And I'll keep you guys updated on this. And if you think I'm bugging and I'm blowing it up out of control, you can leave that comment below. But I don't feel that way. But you're more than welcome to leave that comment down below. But this is stuff that sellers go through. Even ones that are... a have been in this game for a while every once in a while you get a little sneaky one you got to catch them and i got to make sure they're not out there and they'll do it to you that's why i'm really big on fighting it because i have the time i have the time and i can do it so until the next one bye guys